Welcome guys to another Monday morning meeting. We hope morning. you guys are doing well. How are you, Miss Renko? I'm doing pretty good. Refreshed from the weekend? I am. Ready to go? Yep, always ready to go. Yeah, well, we're ready for a great week. Yeah, so I just wanted to share a celebration. We got our panorama data yeah. back last week, and if you guys don't remember, it's that test that students in third, fourth, and fifth grade took. It's not really a test, it's more of a survey, and you guys just let us know how you feel about certain things. And we went up seven points in every single category, Mr. Schlosser. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Great. And we so, already, go ahead. Well, I was just saying, we're, we're looking at, how, you know, we want to make sure students are safe at school, mm -hmm. that they're working hard and learning, mm -hmm. that they feel like their teachers challenge them mm -hmm. to do their very best. And it sounds like we're doing that. So. We are, but you know what impressed me the most? What? We had the most growth in the areas for empathy. Students are mm -hmm. showing that they really care about their peers and the adults in the school and they want to help them. So not only are we doing the right things for ourselves, but we're doing the right things for others. And that means we're not just good students, but we're good people. That's great to hear. Yeah. Good job. I Keep it, it up. All right, a couple of reminders for you guys. We have an e-learning day, not this Friday, but next Friday, March 12th. So two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think they need to do? Well, first, it's a school day. Even though we're not going to be here at K's, it's a regular school day. Uh, it's going to look a little bit different. So kids, you are going to be taking home your device, either your iPad or your laptop, on Thursday mm -hmm. and ready to, to work on Friday with your teacher. So a couple of things. We're going to make sure those are fully charged. You may not be taking your charger home because they're kind of hard to get in and out of For those, sure. um, the cases. But so since we're not going to take them home, we need to make sure they're fully charged. That means Thursday night, we don't want you using them. Nope. Keep them in your black sim sack that your teacher gave you. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're going to be ready to go. School starts at 9 o'clock. Your first class is at 9 o'clock on Friday. So they, they're supposed to be on at a certain time. They can't just do it whenever they want. 9 o'clock school starts. So they get to sleep in a little bit. You're not going to have to get it up as early. Yeah. And the day's a little bit shorter. Okay, what time do they get in? noon they're done at noon so from okay. 9 to 12 o'clock you're going to be on your device with your teacher and you're going to do reading and you're going to do math and you're going to have your specials class and then your day is going to be over what can they do to be most successful when they're learning at home well we learned a couple of things when we did it last time mm -hmm. one we didn't make sure that we're being uh, good stewards of the device, making sure we're taking care of it, that we're not leaving it out for a younger brother or yeah. our dog to get hold of, mm -hmm. or putting it in a place where a drink is gonna get spilled on. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Um, second, we had a little bit of issue of kids talking over one another. Okay. So we wanna make sure we're using the mute button yes. on there. Listening to your teacher and then being courteous to other kids in the class who are answering or participating, mm -hmm. uh, doing it one at a time. But mainly just listening to your teacher. Same thing you do here at school. And you can probably do a better job listening to your teacher if you limit distractions. So when you set yeah. up for e-learning day, it's probably not a good idea to set up on your couch right in front of the TV because you might be distracted and try to watch TV. I wouldn't be in a room with your animals because you'll probably be wanting to play with your animals. It's a little harder to ignore them. Um, try to get yourself away from your brothers and sisters if you can. Just create a good quiet space where you guys can learn. Yeah, that's what I do when I work from home. Yeah. Kind of I've got a desk area set up that is away from distraction. For so sure. same thing I think they ought to do as students. And you guys get free dress that day. You don't have to wear <laughs> uniforms, but please make sure you would wear normal clothes that you could wear to school for free dress. So like no tank tops, always make sure you have a shirt on, maybe change out of your pajamas. <laughs> Might be a good idea. Good deal. So that is two weeks, not this Friday, yep. but the following Friday. Yep. And your teachers will be talking to you a little more about, about that here in the next few days. Yeah, it should be a good day for everyone. Sure. All right, we have a few shout outs. Let's hear what's going on. It's Mr. Binti. I'm going to give a shout out to DeMilan. He's working on learning the letter D. Hey guys, Miss Olson here. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to my entire class for being so respectful and following those group plans and working so hard. But really, I want to give a huge shout out to King. Um, you have been so respectful and you have changed your attitude and done an awesome job uh, and working so hard. So please keep it up. I'm so, so proud of you. It's Mr. Binti. I'm going to give a shout out to Camila. She's working so hard on her math and making so much progress. 
Hi, I just wanted to give a shout out to a student in my classroom, Erlene Ram. She has made so much growth this year in math. She has mastered three digit addition and subtraction with regrouping. Way to go, Erlene. It's Mr. Binti and I wanna give a shout out to my whole class for learning about Martin Luther King this week and even working so hard on their Martin Luther King books. Hey guys, Miss B here. I wanted to give a quick shout out to some of the students in my class who got an A on our last test with adding and subtracting fractions. So I want, I've got a list because there are quite a few people. Um, so I wanted to give the shout out to DeVay, KB on, Elijah Hunter, Haley, Julia, Peyton Burke, Kinsey, and Isabel for getting A's. But a huge shout out to KB on, Julia, and Haley for getting 100%. Way to go guys, you are so awesome. I also wanted to give a shout out to my entire class because today we had a really great discussion about uh, the Patriots and Loyalists in the American Revolution and the conversations were just so good and everyone was participating and it was just a dream day to have a great discussion. So good job guys. Hi, it's Mr. Binting and I want to give a shout out to Rylan Bloomer who's working so hard with money. He's been working hard on nickels and he's doing a great job. Bye. Thank you, Rylan. I love hearing the great things going on in the classroom. Some pretty yeah. cool shout outs. Uh, a couple Cougar Awards you want to give away today? Yeah, absolutely. So the first one is for Mr. Crow. Last week what he did is he led a yep. game PD for our most recent hires and he just did a really nice job teaching about what we do to manage student behaviors here at Dave. So Thanks Mr. Crow, right appreciate Mr. Crow. your leadership. Right, and our next one is to a sub that you guys have seen in the building. This is for Miss A. Miss A has just done a wonderful job jumping in, helping out wherever she can, and she just has such a great attitude. She's somewhere different every day, yep. so she doesn't know what, what the day is going to bring till she gets here. So thank you, Miss Austin Bum. All right, you ready for an activity? <laughs> I am ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this one. This Ooh, should be we're going to make some s'mores. We have marshmallows. I wish. We're going to put them in our mouths and try to talk. Well, you're going to require a lot of marshmallows to set you up. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like I'm the one with the big mouth. Okay, maybe I am. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. I picked out a couple categories. Mm-hmm. Well, then I'm going to take some marshmallows. I think we're going to start with five. Is five enough? We'll see. Well, okay. five, and I'll give one, and then I'll add a marshmallow. Okay. And you're going to have to determine what I'm saying with the marshmallows in my mouth. Okay? Okay. All right. Ready. Do you want me to go first? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So first category, you guys can play along here in your classroom. See if you can figure out what it is I'm saying. First category I have is Disney movies. Okay. Disney, Disney movies. movies. Ooh. Some these are fresh. They have a good one. One. <laughs> Five seems like a lot. Or is a lot of marshmallow. 
Okay, so my category for you is McDonald's food. McDonald's food. Huh? Okay. <laughs> McDonald's food. Google. <laughs> Are you guys start thinking about McDonald's foods? Are we doing breakfast and lunch and mm -hmm. everything? Or? <laughs> everything. <laughs> How many do you have in? Mm. Great. One more. <laughs> Big Mac. Did you guys hear her? She's got to speak up a little bit, doesn't she? <laughs> Big Mac. Oh, I love Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Hold on, say that one again. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. They're McNug chicken McNuggets. Yeah, chicken McNuggets. <laughs> French fries. French fries. <laughs> Time out. Okay, we're gonna do another round. Yep. <laughs> okay, Ooh. I'm gonna get my marshmallows ready. I'm just staying with four because that was a lot of marshmallows. That was rough. I thought you thought we could start with five. <laughs> now marshmallows stuck in my braces. Okay. All right. What's your new category? Things found around or in a, a teacher's desk. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm hmm. I'm gonna put this in my missile. Okay, go for it. This back in there. Oh, that's a little better. Push it back in the mm -hmm. cheeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Oh, oh, that's oh, good. I, oh, you can. You gotta get you it. You think I can do? Yes, I can hear you so clearly right now. Okay. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this one's going in the middle. All right, perfect. Oh. <laughs> Stapler. I thought you were saying stink player at first. I don't know what that is. Uh oh. Nursery rhymes. Yep, I only have three. Oh my goodness. Nursery rhymes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope I could name those without the marshmallows. Oh. How's a little slime in the middle? Nursery rhymes. You guys listen. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Mm -hmm. Row, we could do a round. Row, row, row your boat right row, down row, the street. Row, row, row. <laughs> Twinkle, 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 twinkle
Twinkle Little Star. Mm -hmm. That was good. So we had a little bit of video <laughs> trouble, but that last song was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which you did a pretty good job guessing. It was good. Now, your table's a little sticky. Yeah, I'll definitely have to wash that. <laughs> That was a fun activity. It was fun, and, and you've got some extra marshmallows, right? I do, yeah. So homeroom teachers, if you guys want to do this with your students, I have a bag of marshmallows for every grade level. You're welcome to come get some, and your students can kind of guess what you're saying. But you want to be there for that, right? Well, let me know when you do it. Yeah, That'll I can't miss funny. that. That'll be funny. Guys, we have so many great things happening at Kays, and we are so proud of the work that you and your teachers are doing each and every day, and we just want you to keep that up. I loved hearing the increase in empathy. That yeah. means we're, we're being kind and friendly to one another. Um, that's what makes this place so great. So sure keep working hard in your classrooms and we will see you real soon. Yeah. Work hard on that e-learning day next Friday. Have a great week, guys. Bye, guys.